to the hours that they need as far as the counselor until Thursday at a location across town. And it just makes it a lot harder for those people to stay employed. Um, and I just had this conversation with one of the Superior Court judges last week. The more steps you give people when now they're trying to take care of their accountability and also live their lives, the more steps they have in the process, the greater chance that they are going to fail. And when they fail, they violate, they violate their probation and then they're back in jail. And they go through that cycle so many times that they just give up. And that's when you see those felony charges then start to go to misdemeanor, or <coughs> misdemeanors then start to go to felonies. And now we've jumped to court, and the cost of the taxpayers overall gets to be tremendous. Okay, so then would day reporting put more pressure and more work on our current in house probation? No, it actually makes their lives easier. Makes it easier. But is our current probation system working where we really don't need this? Now you still have to have that because the, the classes that are offered through a day reporting center are still going to be mandated by the judges. You have to have this. You, they, they have to get the classes. Pardon? You need it in that day so you can't get it right. It's another name it's another right. of probation. This is no tool. So what, what the data reporting, the function that the data reporting centers provide is currently outsourced. It would bring it all together. Classes now. 
whenever, so if, if I get a DUI and the judge says you've got 80 hours of community service, you've got to go to the DUI school, I have to pay a private provider for the DUI school. And if I don't do that, I violate my probation. So a, a day reporting center, then, if I understand it, if you have to have anger management, you have to have DUI schools, rather than going to a DUI school that we have in the community, they would come to the day reporting center to be able to meet those Those providers, those classes will be held at the day reporting center. So you're talking about really a substantial amount of space to be able to do this as well. A classroom? Yeah, that's uh, what I thought. Well, and that's been the space issue. Yes, so, you know, I want to come back and say all the way back to facilities a little bit. Do we truly have the space, as we said, initially when we first started talking about this, the answer was probably yes. Today, though, since we have in house probation, that we're struggling with space for them right now, do we truly have space available? Mm -hmm. I think that's part a big of part. What's on the left side of the where the bill helps? So that's where Hawkwa is. That's where what? Hawkwa. That's the health department. And what's the building in the back? The homeless coalition? No, that's the way. To the right, you have the. If you look at, if you look at it, the Blue Ellis on the right hand side, on the south side of Blue right. Ellis, what's that? What's that? What's so that? Lamp has part of that, and part of that's empty in the classroom space. And I think that um, the cash, I think Terry's program is in there right now. Maybe. So there's some, there's some space there. Okay. My opinion again, I think it's something we need to look at for the cost. Well, I think it's a great idea, and I think that, you know, certainly the need is there, but again, I think that space is going to have to be a consideration. Back end savings is going to have to be a consideration. And then what is it going to cost to operate? Definitely going to be a consideration. Okay, any other questions on day reporting?